Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thailand Dreaming, love letters from retirement. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a new thing for me. I'm doing a review on this new motorbike scooter that I've bought. A uh, little bit of background. Uh, Previously, I've owned a Honda 90 in Australia, what we call the posty bike, the postman's motorbike. Uh, I've also uh, owned a uh, Quacker 250 belt drive, four stroke 250 belt drive, which was a really good bike. I've ridden uh, those bikes, and I've also ridden the Quacker 900, the classic Quacker 900. Uh, previously in Thailand, I had the uh, Honda Wave 125i. I traded that in on this bike, the Honda Forza 300. Uh, I've taken it in this morning to give it a bit of a wash uh, to uh, clean it up for this video. So far, I've done 1300 kilometres on the bike, I've done a thousand kilometre round trip before its first 1,000 kilometre service. That was uh, Cha'am to Ayutthaya and Utaitani, Chainat, back to Ayutthaya and then back to Cha'am. Bike went, went like a dream. So much torque, really, really comfortable to cruise on a long journey. Plenty of space for uh, luggage and other things you want to carry in it. All round, just a fantastic bike actually, you know, as far as I can recall, probably the best bike I've ever, ever ridden. Really fantastic. So I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the share button and hit the subscribe button. And let's have a look. So let's have a look. We've got a nice 300cc motor, belt driven. Very, very effective, very effective rear shocks, dual rear, independent rear shocks with uh, adjustments that can be made to make them softer or harder. You've got dual caliper Nissan disc brakes with ABS on the back. Easy access to your oil gauge, to your oil check. Nice alloy uh, footrest for your pillion passengers that just fit away in a compartment rubber mats that are uh, removable, replaceable, removable for cleaning. You go around and have a look at the front here and you've got uh, dual telescopic suspension on the front, dual caliper Nissan disc brakes with ABS on the front as well. So all around ABS, absolutely fantastic. Lighting, absolutely incredible. Uh, daylight lighting, all lighting is LED, as you can see the daylight lighting is uh, pretty nifty looking on the front there, it's uh, really effective, this bike has uh, better lighting than ever any other bike I've ever been on, in fact and the high beam is extraordinary, the indicators are up higher, makes them much more visible uh, on the front and uh, as we go round towards the rear of the bike, one of the things I really like about this is that the indicators wrap around the corner so you can actually be seen from the side rather than just from the rear. Again, all LED lighting, fantastic lighting, really solid uh, handlebars for your pillion passenger and for lifting the bike up onto the uh, centre stand. and. Uh, also they have uh, an option to put a rack on so you can put a box on the back of the bike uh, yeah really futuristic looking design there's been a lot of design go into this bike it's uh, really really quite nice I really love this bike bike is uh, extremely comfortable to ride, the seating is absolutely fantastic, although uh, a little bit tough for me, I'm on tippy toes, but if I move to the front of the uh, extremely comfortable seating, then I can get both feet sort of pretty much on the ground okay, but I always, the backrest is fantastic, it's just so relaxing. Pillion passengers have told me that the rear pillion passenger seat is extremely comfortable as well. 
uh, yeah, it's just an all-round extremely comfortable bike to ride to uh, zip around town or to uh, go cruising around uh, different places, long distance journeys. As I said before, I've done a thousand K round trip on this bike over a five day period and I've sat on the bike for four hours non-stop at one stage. Incredibly comfortable to ride, incredibly comfortable. And uh, of course you can sit back into the backrest and put your feet right up front on those front uh, footrests. And uh, it's like the Harley of scooters, it's uh, incredible. I really enjoyed riding this bike. And uh, you know, it cruises along uh, easily on about 5,000 uh, revs, which is, uh, that's about 80 or 90 K. Uh, it red lines at uh, nine, it goes up to 11. Uh, I've had it up to 140. Uh, I wouldn't do much more than that in Thailand. As you can see, the rear view vision mirrors are really well shaped and really well placed. You get really good vision behind you, what's going on around you. As I said before, I've had it up to 140. I wouldn't do any more than that. Uh, Thailand, extremely dangerous on the roads. It's got a top speed of 160. I have no doubt that it would pull that easy. So let's have a look at these controls here. You've got your traction control, just a finger or thumb over the top of the handlebars, easily accessed. So you've got traction control in wet weather. You've got your A-info that gives you the top two lines of your uh, digital readout, which is exceptionally good. And you've got uh, down on the bottom the B-info which gives you your total readout uh, and access to the second, the two bottom lines of your digital readout. Those two buttons also uh, give you your clock adjustments and uh, switching from A trip to B trip, etc., etc. Uh, all re easily uh, readable, re easily accessible. And um, yeah, the light, uh, the lighting in this uh, LED panel is uh, pretty good as well at night time. So yeah, uh, even in the daytime, it's uh, really easy to read and uh, really uh, easy to access. Uh, I think it's uh, been well made and it's uh, well presented and it's uh, yeah, easy on the eye and uh, just a glance, you get all your info. Uh, yeah, so uh, I really like the, uh, the panel and all the info that it provides for you. Yeah, so I've talked about how comfortable this bike is for me, uh, for a shorter person or a medium sized person, extremely comfortable, you can get back against the backrest, very supportive and put your feet up on these front foot pads and uh, it's uh, really incredible to cruise around on. You've got plenty of move, room to move around and stretch out on it and everything. So yeah, incredibly comfortable on a long trip. As I said before, I've done four hours non-stop, uh, you know, and even back there, you've got really good vision in, with the mirrors, the shape and the, and the position of them, fantastic. This is an aftermarket add-on I've put on. It's uh, a phone holder for GPS. Still gives easy access to all the necessary uh, controls. Uh, yeah, this one here that I'm using now puts the windscreen up and down. When I've got the windscreen up, when it's raining, or really, it, uh, the rain just goes straight over the top of my head and around the side of me. I hardly get wet at all. It's fantastic. Yeah, so uh, I like to keep my windscreens clean, easily accessible and uh, up and down in a jiff. Over here you've got your emergency lighting switch, uh, gives you the blinkers, you've got a kill switch up there that kills everything. Down there's the ignition switch, starts first time every time. Yeah, so controls all really accessible and, uh, and comfortable to use, even with this uh, GPS phone thing I've got on there. I note that because I get lost really easily, especially around the outskirts of Bangkok, going through to other places. Yeah, so all in all, really good accessible controls, uh, either sitting in a normal position on the bike, a squatting type position, or sitting back against the backrest with your feet up, everything accessible and uh, easy to use. All around fantastic controls, fantastic uh, readout. 
I like the older style speedo rather than the digital speed. Yeah, so here's your controls for uh, ignition, keyless, uh, no key needed. Uh, you can lock everything up on the bike. Uh, once you turn that wheel across to the side when you're up on the sand, everything locks up completely. The seat, the bike, the steering, the glove box, fantastic. Yeah, so uh, I really like the, the futuristic design as well. It looks like something like a Transformer. <laughs> I think they've actually designed it on the trans one of the Transformers, haven't they? I hope it doesn't come alive on me. Anyway, yeah, so it's uh, extremely comfortable to ride, but cruise is really good. Some people say not great for cruising a bike this size, but for me it's fantastic. I don't need any more than 300cc, a big powerful bike in Thailand. Yeah, it's a death wish. This thing cruises. I wouldn't like to be riding it around in the city, but uh, it cruises uh, long distance and, and around town here, fine. Just fantastic, it's perfect for me. All around, probably uh, pound for pound, CC for CC. Probably one of the best motorbikes I've ever ridden, comfort wise, control wise, speed wise, power wise. It's just got a shitload of torque. Fantastic to get you in and out of uh, trouble at any stage. Even at 140, I found it still had plenty of torque left in it. Now, those controls here, you just push the button in to turn everything on with the uh, remote in your pocket. You turn it up to the eye here, which uh, lights up all your digital display and gives you uh, all the information and, and access to changing yeah, your trip A, your trip B, etc., etc. Change your clock if, you, if need be. And uh, yeah, it's a great readout. Okay, so this control uh, button also gives you access to opening your fuel container, your fuel tank, 11 litre fuel tank. It also opens up the seat. Okay, so when you open the seat, you'll see this fantastic amount of room in here. You can put two helmets, or obviously you're going to be riding with one, so you have one helmet and you can still uh, put a backpack in there, a medium-sized backpack. I've got a few other things I put in there as well. There's plenty of real nooks and crannies that you can fit all that smaller stuff as well as a backpack, you know, even a towel or whatever. You know, you've got a little side pocket in here that's got your tools and uh, I keep my license and stuff like that in there and a torch, etc. Face masks for the COVID situation. Yeah, so really a huge amount of room in there. So another item that makes it fantastic for uh, long distance cruising, which I plan to do around Thailand. I can fit the backpack in there with uh, all my clothing and stuff like that and a small backpack or I might put a box on the back to put all the camera gear in and stuff like that. So yeah, once you um, turn the wheel and uh, turn that back around to lock position, everything's locked, even the glove box. And uh, I'll show you the glove box. I'll uh, open it back up and open up the glove box and show you because that's extremely convenient that you can keep things in there like your wallet. I guess you could put your license in there. Uh, it also has inside here a charger. Oh, I've got a double charger plug in there so I can plug in the phone. I can recharge the phone and the GoPro at the same time in this glove box. As you can see, it's really deep. There's plenty of room to put lots of stuff. Another mask, <laughs> another COVID mask. Yeah, so uh, once that's uh, put back into lock position, everything on the bike is secure and locked up so absolutely fantastic secure no one's gonna uh, come and uh, steal your license or your or your gopro or your wallet while you whip into the 4711 and uh, yeah all around fantastic everything fantastic it's just a pleasure this bike absolute pleasure so here's some tech specs uh, for those people who are technophobes uh, gives you the details of uh, the basic tech details of the whole bike. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you next time So that's it for the bike review. Thanks so very much everybody for watching Thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribed Hit that subscribe button down there hit the like button hit the share button and uh, until next time I'll see you later.